Go. Sing. No. I don't sing. Well, I'm here for a very strange reason tonight. Not until some people come in. It's exciting. I'm doing a food review. Mac and cheese. See, I've made sort of mac and cheese in the past. When I say sort of, I've had the American versions and don't really like it. We'll use pasta like that in, uh, just imagine having a bowl of coleslaw and then you add in some raisins, a little bit of raisins, a little bit of curry powder and then some cooked pasta mixed with it. It's like a pasta salad. That's very common at Australian barbecues. Thank you very much. But mac and cheese as it is, it's not really big in Australia. It's not like popular. In the frozen aisle section, you'll see little containers of them that, I don't know, I imagine some people buy, but it's not a main... Oh, and packets of it that you make up. Yeah, but um, it's just gooey, pastory stuff. And it's sort of, I'd rather do other stuff with pasta, but that's just me. But tonight the wife is going to road test these. Mac and cheese, cheddar Chip. cheese flavour. Um, I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil. <coughs> We're going to have a cup of first. Actually picked up a couple. We're getting them, getting them tomorrow. Park benches, but not big ones. Imagine a park bench, but take a third of it away. We're getting two of those. They're made from a cast iron frame and some Jarrah slats, hardwood slats. So they look good, don't they? Yeah. Even sitting, I have to go like this because you're way taller than me. I'll go down. I sit normal on like this. I'll go down like a hobbit. Sit oh. normal. <laughs> That's how it is. Let's check the kettle. We're going to have a cuppa and then we're going to test drive. She's going to test drive these. Yes, it's not mac and cheese as you'd have in a bowl. It's the presumptuous, chippy flavoured mac and cheese. Never seen them before. I probably won't see them again. But um, she wants to give it a go for her American friends and give you a review on what she thinks of them. You probably already know what I think of them. Chemically enhanced starch. How are you all? I don't know if Tucker's up yet. Tucker, have you had your suppositories? Bend him over. Go on. Bend him over. There you go, Tucker. Now bite on this bit of wood. I don't know if you're watching, mate, but if you are, I hope things are going good. So, cupper in hand. Do you want to taste this, these things yet? Do you want to yeah. have your cupper? I have a bit more cupper for you. Is me um, is mm. sweet pea in the room? I don't know who's in the room. I haven't seen anyone type yet. Could be nobody in the room. Oh. It's either a hot flush or it's not that cold tonight. No, it's not too bad tonight. What is it? I'm gonna check on the oh. temperature. 16 degrees Celsius. That's not cold. Hello, Izzy. Nobody Hi, here. Itchy. I'll just start doing a strip. Da, da, da. Look at the crowd coming. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom. No, just kidding. So the wife is going to test drive mac and cheese. Just having a bit more of my cuppa first. Chips. Is that what they're called? They're mac and cheese, cheddar, cheese flavour. Uh, I don't know. Chemically enhanced. No I'd doubt. be interested to see if they're actually noodles shaped in there. I oh, do like this brand. Infusion. I do like that There's brand. There's one, one of them that I do eat, and it's a prawn cracker that they make. Yes. But I'm not sure on that. Where have you gone? Minute. Your audience awaits. I just, I'll be back. I can always do this. No. <laughs> you look scary just then. Sorry. Yeah, it's like the ones I get. There's a... Uh, there's prawn, you know the ones you buy in the hard shell in the supermarkets and they're about this big and then they, you put them in the shallow front and they go shh, shh, shh. They're okay, but my sister-in-law gets some from Indonesia. They just taste better, don't they? Whatever they are, not sure what they are. Do you know the brand? So 
in a reddish box, isn't it? Uh, no? Okay. But they're all right. I prefer prawns myself. Got about a kilo in the freezer. And I'll do a video this week. Uh, the kids are getting back from holiday. They're over in Bali at the moment. How many's over there? Four of them. Four of the kids are over there. And what we're going to do is I've got some raw prawn and I'll give it a light coat of flour, shake all the flour off, then I'll make a batter. Then I mm, semi-shallow fry, a bit deeper than shallow, and I cook it up and I make honey and chilli. Here we go. Here's the actual... Oh, I don't know if you've seen them. There's a problem with putting a camera up to a camera. They're the best ones. If you can get them... They're a prawn cracker from Indonesia. G'day, Biker. Can you see that? It's not very clear. The closer I get, the worse it gets. Anyway, that's the box. It's a big box. And are they Indonesian or are yeah. they Malay? Indonesian. But they're really yum. The ones we get and we fry them, they're, they're okay. But these just taste better. So, was it you, Biker, that left a comment that you put your Chico rolls in the oven? Mm. I've done that. But they fall apart. They no, go, they don't. Shallow fry them. But I make what I call honey sesame prawns. Prawns probably as big as my thumb. Flour. You can add a bit of heat in the flour, put chilli powder if you want to, but this one doesn't like heat. So flour, shake off the flour, uh, a batter I make up, and then straight into the deep fryer. And they are bit of honey and sesame on the top. Kids just devour them. A kilo is never enough when I cook for the kids. But this is what we're reviewing tonight, Biker. My wife was talking to someone about mac and cheese. So she's going to do a review on these chippings. Which I'm not real keen on, but I'll give it a go. But Looks like chemicals, deep fried and starch. Just me. I'm sure they're good. How popular is mac and cheese in the US? Is it like every week you have a feed of mac and cheese or is it only every now and then? Yeah, mac and cheese chips, Leroy. The wife's going to uh, do the review in a moment. She's just having a cuppa. She is here. I'll point you in her direction. There she is. I'm just doing deep something. In, deep in thought. Just quickly. Yeah, man says hello to you and the missus. Uh, I'm just. Check updating my games. And then I'm I'll just be saying, there. yeah, man said hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, man. Mac and cheese. He's a good person to ask. Yeah, man. How often would you have mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. I just don't see it being a a dish you'd have once a week. I think it might be to do with Thanksgiving, Christmas, a dish for a dinner party. I don't think it's like a meal. Yeah, no, awful. You know what craft stands for, Leroy, don't you? Don't be rude. No, it, it's it's true. Craft can't remember a fucking thing. I like the mac and cheese bacon flavour, but they stopped making it. Yeah. I just, I just think it's full of chemicals. I'm a little bit dubious when it comes to things like that. Right, so here's the presentation tonight from uh, the boss. And they are what? Do you want to explain what they are? They, I don't know, they're a chip, I'm presuming shaped like a noodle and they're mac and cheese flavoured. Well, you need to hold it up so they can see it, yeah. Yeah, they have to see. I'm going to read the back. With craft, yes. Can't remember. The delicious snack factory thing. has doubled. Creamy cheddar cheese smoothly coated on macaroni potato chips while will melt in your mouth. Discover a true culinary, I had to say that slowly, culinary Surprise, that was a big chat I just missed. Mm. Hang on, this one's I think, read it. I think, look, I mean, if I made, hey, a, if I made a, hello Jazz, if I made a <coughs> mac and cheese, I'd probably cook a couple of streak, streaky bacon rashes up. It would go crispy and then chop them really fine. I'd make it with a couple of cheeses. I'd also put a little bit of carnation milk in there. Just a bit of cream. No, no, not a lot, just a bit. And I'd mix it so it was stodgy. And then I would bake it. Probably, I don't know, on about 180 for about 30, about 5, then 40 that's, minutes. That's a pasta bake. Then. It is, 
but it still comes out sloppy underneath, but a little bit of a crust on top. That's how I would make a mac and cheese. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, man said we love it as children to find out that the high sodium levels just keep oh, coming imagine. back. Yeah. I can imagine. That's a big killer in our society is salt. I, I don't you hardly have any salt at all. Okay. Yes, they're hesitating with those words, itchy. Here we go. We're going to have a... Yeah, I have to say that slowly so I said it right. There may nutrition information. Oh, 7.3. What's the sodium? Know. What's sodium? That's interesting. Oh, my God, look at... Can you read I that colour? Read that. Yeah. Uh, sort of black on blue writing. I just got a blur. Let's not worry about the sodium. Okay. Well, you're eating it. It doesn't matter. It's exciting. <coughs> no, it's not a good start. Not, she opens the pack, it just about passes out. I, I'm a bit dubious, but I'll have a sniff. I stuck my face in it too much. Do you know when you found an old bloke lying behind a whole row of bricks and he's got socks on that his head for about <coughs> 15 years? And you're trying to help him, so you take his socks off? Hey, Ross. That's exactly what these fuckers smell like. I'll just update you, Ross. <laughs> they don't smell good. No, I bought a pack of these. Don't threaten me with your mac and cheese. Mac and cheese chips that Jeez. I wanted to try. Because we were talking about it the other day. It's going day. well so far, the review. Oh, they smell horrible. I don't know. We'll stand back just in case something adverse happens. I oh, want my Like that? You no, do what no. you like. Just kidding. Mm. Have another couple. And as your blood pressure comes up. Salty. Give mm. them a, give them an explanation what they I can't. Well they're crunchy. I can hear you go. I'm just kidding. I don't like people who eat like that. It doesn't taste like mac and cheese. Is it cheesy? I don't really want to have any to be honest with you. Yeah, it's cheesy. So it's no, you've cheap. got to try one. Come on. I'm going to have one. Looks like some artery. Or maybe colon. I'm not sure. There we go. Little pooper valve. Oh, they smell. I don't want to eat it. Hey. Biker, no. They are not worth it. They are They're horrible. Crap. I haven't even tasted them. I don't want to. I've had three and that's it. That it's not even a nice cheese. Because I love cheese. I love cheesels. <gasps> Got a pack of them I can review. I love cheesels. My opinion, they're not worth it. I wouldn't, but I'd prefer to have them. a. I would prefer to have a smegma sandwich instead of that. That's awful. We have cheesy. Yes, I love cheesels, and I, I get this other brand from New Zealand. Oh God, I love New Zealand chips. Um, they're but plain potato chips in there. Actually, you like the British chips that we had over oh, there, Oh, and the you? British chips. Oh, yum, because I love chips. I could eat that and instead of dinner. And a cold beef. I want to see the day that a vegan army takes over the world. You know, they're all this thick. Oh, oh we're going to invade Russia. Nothing against people who want to not eat meat. But don't tell me otherwise, OK? Now, this, this brand infusion, they make a really nice veggie chips biker if you like these things the infusion brand they're veggie chips you know the ones i buy sometimes the one mixed colored ones the mixed colored i don't like them either now they're nice cheesels are yum these are going to the birds and i don't even know if they'll eat them which what's all the parish mug at mm. i don't even want to lick my fingers you got those from coles coles yeah but I the mean, um they smell you, they stink. You try them for yourself, but I consider myself a chip connoisseur. Would you not? Because you've got you've got cupboards. I she could do four hundred reviews. There's that many chips in the cupboard. I'll just go get the other packets from New Zealand that I like. But these, I'm the sorry. Thing. No, I wouldn't. I got these on special. They stink. Yeah, they do. Oh, but, they really are horrible, aren't they? Yeah, I do have a vice when it comes to, well, they're not always in a packet. Overseas, I get it freshly made, but who here doesn't like pork crackle? Or in the UK, they'll call it pork scratchings. 
Uh, I forget what they call it in the US, but pork crackle. Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. I could eat buckets of that. G'day, Lakes. Becomes a New Zealand oh review. I'm not going to open all That's these. true. Now, seeds oh, always goes. Seeds. Yes, I'm not kidding you. I should do a video of just what, in the bottom cupboard, <gasps> pork rides. They're, they're the ones, Leroy. I love them. Pork crackle. In the bottom cupboard of the small pantry we've got, <coughs> there's hundreds of chips. Let me oh. just do one at a time to show them. I've still got that horrible one. Now these are... Um, <coughs> yes, they are. One of my many favourites. Sheets, tons of these. You can see it's not a small packet. She devours these, French fries. Hey, Lake. Who are they made by? Or anyone else I've missed. They're made I do. by... I like I love potato chips. Just by a company called Authentic. So she eats each of those. There you are. These are my next favourite. These are very Aussie. These but are young. I get something similar in the US. Twisties. Sorry, I have to look at my phone to read the comments. Yeah. Yeah, pork. I pork. don't eat these ones either, but every now and then when she gets a chicken one, I love the chicken. I don't like the chicken one. But chemical, chemical, chemical sodium. Yeah, Here we go. Okay. Now these are from New Zealand. These yeah. are my favourite. These are yum. I think I think you like these. These are called curlies. Yep. Made by, by Bluebird. Bluebird. New, New Zealand. Zealand brand, and they make a really nice chip. I think normal price is about four bucks, but you generally buy them at a half price, don't yes. you? Yes. Yes, twisties. Yeah, I like the chicken one too, biker, but not a lot. You know that gummy? You start eating twisties, and you get this. That's what these do. Yeah. And something happening inside, like there's a. Now I do. There's a growth happening. I do like normal potato chips as well, and then there's these. This is only a small sample of her chemical. Cheezels. You know, you, you put one of each finger and then you eat them. Yeah, as kids, kids always grab these and they put them on their fingers. Like Liberace and a dozen rings. Hey, I have snacks when people visit and the grandkids come. I should just take the camera and show you. I'm going to. Here we go. She's probably hiding the stuff as, as I'm coming in. She likes her nibblies. Are you going to embarrass me? This is her section. They, they, look, they're, they're, I get them in the cheap shop. That's for the grandkids as well. There's some sultanas there, down there. I eat them. But this is, actually you're down on it. You're down on supplies. No, there's plenty. Shall, shall, I, shall I show what you like to eat? Let go, go on, go let go. On, I don't eat those at all. Biscuits. You love biscuits. I don't eat those ones. Where's RC Boy? I have short Man, bread. you're showing your age. I uh, couldn't read that. Yeah, no, I eat lots of soup <coughs> and spicy stuff. I love spicy stuff. Here's a veggie mine. For those that really need to know. We do have peanut butter. I have the crunchy. She has the smooth, which is always full. I'll go through my crunchy one. But, yeah, she does like her chippies. I suppose a lot of people like that, but those, uh, like I say, those twisties. Hello, Mel. Oh, hello, Mel. Mel, you just missed... If you had those twisties, and I'm sure those people that know eating twisties, you'll be eating them. And seriously, up near the gunnels here, it's like a, a creek full of debris from a, a, a storm drain. Hey, it's Mel. Just, Mel, you have to watch... Three hours later, you're still going like this. Mel, you have to watch the beginning of the stream. I taste tested, <coughs> you know, the brand infusion chips we get in Australia. Hello, Riley. Um, mac and cheese flavour. They're awful. Oh, they my stunk. God, they're horrible. I refuse to eat one. And then seeds showed, and then I saved some of my chips I like, and then it showed my cupboard. It's nearly yes. bare. Normally, you've got a sort of... Yes. Work your way in there. I can't help it. I have a chip problem. Yeah. I'm going to go to chip and Is that right he say it? Well, nomin, chocoholics. You don't <laughs> want a chocolate. bit of chocolate. You know, oh. She's built like this. <laughs> chocolate. Unbelievable. No, they were awful. I uh, do not recommend them at all. Company name is Infusions. They do make a good prawn cracker every now and then. But it's just, you know, chemicals and starch. It really stunk. When she opened it up, she nearly fainted. <laughs> and I had a gentle whiff, and I'm thinking, jeez. 
It's like a hobo socks from 1960 still being worn. Awful. Absolutely awful. No. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll come and see ya. Chippendale Fantasies, Mystic, it she always says. Chippendale. Oh yeah, Chippendale dancers. I've got a picture of me with one of them from years back. I think it was Chippendales. What's the other one? I can't remember. No, the um they stunk. They were awful. Uh, and we weren't Chippy trying to Munch weren't up. trying to put down the Americans as far as mac and cheese, but I just don't see I know, look, Anyone eating it every week is I, a meal. I'll eat mac and cheese, but it's not my first. <coughs> yeah, I like them, Ross, too. It's not my first choice of meal. I will eat it. But I thought, oh, when I saw those chips, I thought, oh, that's interesting. Wow. But I will, Mel, this week, do a video. It will be honey sesame prawns, which is raw prawn meat, bit of flour, shake your flour off, and I make a batter up. And semi shallow, Upside down semi -deep. tins cause me anxiety. Did he have an upside down tin in his cupboard? Who? Maybe it looked like it only because of the camera because I used to pack stock in a supermarket. I'll put, I'll put in the cupboard like this. She comes and goes. Yeah, it's 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 got to be right together. Pop that one's off kilter. Space, <laughs> not upside down. So just if there was one, I will... There. Just put the damn thing in there. Milky, I will go check for you. Oh, okay? Go on, go check. Can you can remember what was upside down? I'm with Milky though. The kids like, um, I make a lot of homemade soups, to be honest. But I'll be honest, if it's just me and, and this one's eating, you know, bags of chips and doesn't want anything for dinner, I'll just grab a tin of soup and add a little bit something to it. But I don't really like tin food. I do like tin yes, beans, because lab they're very- Labels uh, facing out. I had to do all that when I was a And I'll, put, I'll stick it, you know, some green beans, on t I mean, uh, Pinto beans on top of, say, tomato. Uh, no, no, only tomato goes on tomato. See, Milky Way's thanking me. Go on, go and check, we'll see what it was. Milky Ways are upside down. I didn't have any Milky Ways in the cupboard. Huh? Hey, Danny G. Danny G, you've got to watch the beginning. You, you, you don't know what you've done now. She'll be in the cupboard for an hour going, I've got to get that one. Danny, you've got to watch the She'll beginning. She'll get a spacer. Oh, that's right. Uh, Excuse oh. me, shut up. you got to watch the beginning, Danny G. We did a review on some... Uh, Toe jam, <laughs> literally. Mac and cheese flavoured chips and they were disgusting. I just gotta go check the cupboard, I'll be back. No, I'm willing to give most things a go, but I wouldn't eat them. It stunk. It's like, have you ever been on a boat and someone's put octopus in a bucket for three days? Mm. You can't go near the damn thing. You wanna, if you hate somebody, I swear all you have to do you get some fresh octopus, put it in their boot underneath the carpet, you'll ne never get the smell out. Trust me. Vengeance is yours. <coughs> Even dogs choking on the, on the fumes. That's the way to go. Hard enough. Oh, it's not really food. I wouldn't call it food, Danny. So, I will do that prawn dish this week, Mel. All fixed. What was it? A couple of tins you had wrong. Oh not in the right spot, not facing the right way. Did you check the dates in them? Maybe you need to rearrange them in ca no, calendar no, order? No, I've got that all organised. No, she hasn't. Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> Sticks like glue. But octopus, mm, nasty. Like I say, if you leave in a bucket of water for three or four days, you don't need mace. That'll be the stuff. Okay. Yeah, oh, the thing is, when, hey, you put it, when, you, Kiwi, when you put it in a panel, you re screw it up. They can smell it, but they have no idea where it's coming from. Oh, we're it's just talk, terrible. Just talking about chips from New Zealand, Kiwi, they're my favourite brand of chips, is the Bluebird from New Zealand. I just showed one packet of yeah, chips you know I they, had. You know what they are. And they're Big fat finger, crunchy, cheesy cheese things. Cheese flavours, but they're like five bucks a pack here and I'll get them when they're on special. We do have a New Zealand shop, you know. Yeah, and there's actually a pommy shop in Perth. I don't know if they do those chips for you. She likes chips. I do. But uh, to our credit, we eat loads of veggies. 
<laughs> it's attached. I thought it was it's got a rogue here. <laughs> I was going to pull it. I'm sorry. Leave me long ears alone. Yeah, bike ride, I don't have anything that yes. I'd keep for more than three months I anyway. I check all that because when I work in a, forward, when I worked in a supermarket, of course that's how you stock shelves properly, blah, blah, blah. And that's exactly how I do the house. I can't help it. And I do my kids' pantries for them the same. I teach them like this. One of our daughter-in-law, Jess, she's, mind you, her father is terrible. He keep buying her stuff. You go to Jess's cupboard and it's like... I don't know, medium-sized pantry. It's just full of stuff. I said to her one day, let me go through and just check out. She had like 19 anchovies jars. 18 were out of date. I made about four boxes of shit that was out of date. And she said, oh, yeah, my dad keeps buying it. It's like I'm going to move in a minute, people. See, this got us sitting around the other way. Mm -hmm. Milk, you'll relate to this. I don't like having my back to the backyard. I have to put my back, You're right, back like to the back of the house. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to move it a minute because I don't like facing this way. See? Don't go pee out there. They can see you. <laughs> God. Quick, someone take a screenshot. Uh, I'm going to have nightmares now. Uh, human. Uh. <laughs> Shut up. Seriously. Jeez, we've only had coffee too. Unbelievable. Smell of them chips. Enough to drive anyone mad. So I haven't heard from Tucker today. Has anyone caught up with him? Hope he's doing okay. He wouldn't be doing okay if we sent him a pack of them chips. Oh god no. Be <laughs> I pee outside on the lemon tree with a Tomatoes. Oh my god, I'm not eating tomatoes nothing from your wrong house. With no, nothing wrong with nitrogen. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, a lot of Aussie, you get, if I went round his place for a barbie, so I'm a bust him, he'd say, just go behind the tree, like everyone else does. It's not a big deal here. You don't flash your willy out and go, hey, look at that one, look at that, look at that. No, you just discreetly go against the tree and go. People do after that a few drinks. And then you're done. Yes. Women can pee outside too, you know. You know, there's actual bottle for women that they can pee in. They can pee standing up in a bottle. It's specially shaped. I'm pretty sure a lot of women on YouTube can pee standing up. <laughs> there's a shitload of them. Yeah, I saw Tucker briefly in that, but I didn't see it live. And then he came into a chat of ours yesterday. Hey, Dream. Uh, yeah, no, no one's going to get you. No, it, it's not. I agree. I don't. I don't know what it is. Well, you don't like being in claustrophobic rooms. No, I can't. Like going up stairwells in castles. I mean, if someone um, jump scares me, whatever, I can laugh at that. But I just, yeah. So I'm going to move in a minute. I just don't like. I just don't like it. I don't like my back to a door. Yeah, coming in. Anyway, we all have our little. Actually, the funny thing, if you ever had an operation, and I've had a couple, and I'm lying in there after recovering, I keep hearing this like waterfall. I'm going, what the fuck is that? I'm still half dozy. And I <coughs> keep hearing it. I think some bass has left a tap on somewhere. Anyway, the nurse comes in and takes out my catheter. He's dripping into a bucket. And I'm thinking, Oh, okay. I have to drive with the window down. Yeah, I actually like driving with the window down, even in the cold weather. But I get told off. But yeah, miss. Yes, yeah, sir. I like the instincts. Yeah. I like a bit of breeze on me. Like even at night, and in we've got these reverse cycle air conditioners, and they're good. Don't get me wrong. We set ours on about eighteen degrees for the bedroom, and that's good. But I get stuffy. I'd like to have a bit of fan coming on me. Do you know what I mean? Just me. Yeah, the window a bit. Yeah, I'm probably not normal. <laughs> I could tell you a story. I'll wear that. <laughs> I can laugh now. I laughed then. <laughs> we went to Tasmania. We were, we were going to live there for a year. No, we did live there for a year. Well, we did live there for a year. So we went to Tasmania because we couldn't get accommodation at first. We had it back then. We had a little puppy. 
that's another story that a real estate lady told us, remember? But Let me just tell that story quickly. All right, you tell that. We're in Tasmania, and we phoned up this office that we'd already contacted and said, look, we'd like to have a look at getting a couple of properties. And, and she said, yeah, this one and that one's available. And I said, yeah, we've got a dog. That shouldn't be a problem. She said, oh, well, you could always put the dog down. Then it won't be a problem. We walked and out. I'm not kidding you. That's what she said. We walked out. Uh, no, we were in person. We were in the office. No, we were in the car park when we were doing that. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. You yeah. could put your dog, dog down. down. Uh, we just walked. Yeah, I had to pull seeds out by the collar. But we didn't. And had to walk out and not say nothing because if I had started. Anyway, we were in a camping ground. I have a claustrophobic problem. He bought a two man tent, which I'm sure was a half a person tent. Or a midget, whatever. It was actually a big tent. <laughs> and he sets it up, get in there, and I thought, no, I can't do this. <laughs> and it was nearly snowing. It was zero degrees or more. <coughs> yeah, and I was tired. I'd been driving all day, so I made it go. So oh, I made him go. I had to sleep near the door, near the, the tent fly thingy. And then, <laughs> and then he wakes up an hour later and says, why the bloody hell is it so cold in here? I mean, it's cold anyway. Let me finish this off. I wake up, and what's going on? All I see is her shoulders and the zip up and down. She's got her head outside. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay in the tent with it zipped up. But the up. story gets worse for me. Then, because... <laughs> oh, God, I can laugh about it now. And then I said, I can't do this. I'll go sleep in the car. Mm -hmm. And then, of course... The car was packed because we were moving. Uh, had stuff in there, so it was a um, like a little uh, portable ensuite thingy next to it. Very us. small. It was like toilet shower. Uh, <laughs> made him drink the mattress it. and the dog the mattress yeah. into the floor. It was that small. Okay, <laughs> this one's lying lengthways near the shower and the basin, so she's fully stretched out. Now you know the shape of a toilet goes around like that. I was like a yard snake wrapped around the dunny. Three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> the floor is fun. minus five, and she says to me, as she's dozing off to sleep, this is better. I told you the story got worse for me. Oh my God, it was, yeah. I, I got just... up at six o'clock in the morning, I said to the bloke, is that cabin free? He said, yeah. I said, I'm, we want it. I mean, I don't mind roughing it, and I didn't mind, but it just, it was not a two-man tent. I don't care what you say, that tent was for a child. That was no, it was a big, a three man tent at least, it was big enough. It wasn't that, it was the walls closed in. I mean, the dog didn't care. I mean, it was, she was a little chihuahua, bless her, she's passed now, but just a tiny chihuahua, so she'd sleep anywhere. She didn't give a rat's ass. She was curled up next to me going, this is good. But it was just, the tent was just too close, so yeah. She ended yeah, up sleeping so in, the, in the small... Six foot five bloke wrapped, wrapped around a dunny. <laughs> I would look like a yard snake. I do look like, oh, we do too. We look like we're in split screens. This is special effects. See, I can't go through there. See that? What my elbow did. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I tell you. Very observant, Milky. I, I tend to... I, I honestly could go down the beach, even now, light a fire, throw a blanket on the ground, punch up a bit of sand underneath the blanket, make a sand pillow, and I could go to sleep. This one would be in the car with the lights on, tooting, with the radio blaring. Get here! Get out of there! Get here! Well, with what? You wouldn't sleep on the beach next to a fire. I... Yeah, because that's open space. As long as I'm warm. No, you'd be saying spiders and snakes. That's it. I don't think of that. Okay. That I don't think of. It's oh. just being enclosed. Just go and get a blanket. Go down the beach. It's just being enclosed, that's all. Yeah, I love the beach. Grew up. I swim like a fish. Used to dive. Did a lot of fishing. As you get older, there's different priorities that kick in. Unfortunately. Okay, I got it. Turn around. That's enough. I can't sit like that anymore. All right, all right. So that's fair enough. There you go. You can stay that way. No, Leave the right. camera no, there. I was only doing it so people could see you doing the review. You can. Uh, you've got the covering. You could have shown them my chicken. <sighs> you see what I have to put up with? That's that. I win domestics. Remember? Yes, dear. <coughs> Anyway, what do you guys have for dinner tonight? I'm interested. I'm always interested in what people had to dinner. Biker had a lager burger, followed by a couple of other lager burgers, 
En dan hadden we een hele hoorn aan ze beschikt. Gabo het box, hij te pakken. Dan denk ik, kijk, soos. Spam, eeuw. Ja, a lot of people do that. <coughs> a lot of the big uh, toilets around the beaches in Australia are really good, particularly in summer. Nice and cool on the concrete floor. A bit smelly. But if you've had a few drinks, it don't matter. She'll be right. But yeah, those chips were awful. Oh yeah, yum, yum. Lamb steaks, salad, and chippies. On the barbie? Not the chippies, the lamb steaks. Oh, you sent Mrs. C's a pick. Yeah. All right. Barramundi chip salad. That sounds good. Well, we had a chico roll for dinner tonight, and I totally enjoyed it. Tell you a story about Barramundi, and if anyone knows the territory, I lived up there for a couple of years. I went up there when I was 14. I hitchhiked around Australia, <coughs> but I caught up with some fr family and friends, and I'm walking out at Howard Springs. And if you know Darwin, you'll know Howard Springs. And in the old days. In the 70s, it was just a dirt road, but huge big culverts either side because of the floods. And when I say floods, it could just be a tidal flood. Anyway, I'm walking down, it was about three or four mile, which I don't really care, I just keep walking. And it pissed down. And if you've ever been in Darwin and know what the rain's like, it comes down like buckets. Anyway, the, the sides were filling up, and I think, well, this is a bit dodgy. And then the road flooded about a foot and a half. Okay, and I'm just walking through it thinking, oh well. I could see where the holes were either side, so I just kept in the middle. And after about two mile, the rain had stopped and then it started to... Darwin drains really well, it's a big delta. But I kid you not, I picked up four fish. They're all only about 12 inches long, but they were barramounties. And I walked into... Uh, my sister was up there, I walked in and I said, there you go. She said, oh, you've been fishing? I said, no, I've just been walking down the road. But it was true. The, the sides of the culverts filled up, went across the road, it drained off because the road was a little bit, you know, up and down. Fish were on the road. And there was a couple more further back I could see flapping around, but I thought, nah, can't be bothered going all the way down there again. That's exactly what I do, Mel. I hmm? squeeze the inside of the Chico roll first and then I eat the outside later. I do exactly the same thing. <laughs> it's nine wild turkeys. And any minute now, one of them wild turkeys is going to turn into an emu. You're doing well. Oh, I don't like wild turkey. That's no, right. It's a very smooth drink. But I, is that mixed? I imagine that's not straight wild turkey. That'd I be got coke, I guess. Stick on that once. Yeah, speak to your audience. It's crooked. Who's it? No. I'm going to move it two inches forward. Watch. Watch what happens. I'll slap you. Watch. It's coming. It's. I'm still short. Coming. Look, I'm going to sit normal. No, you just sat back two inches. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, there you go. That would do was Shut coming. Shut up. E. I'm ruffle just you. Just a matter of time. I'm going to ruffle you off. You know, I wouldn't be thinking you're getting much for that, I'm afraid. Right. Next ruffle. Seeds is the prize. Oh joy. <laughs> Why, you, you'll cook for them? Yeah, I'll give them a bag of them fucking chips. <laughs> I, I should have resealed them. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my worst enemy. They stunk. They really did stink. Yes, they were bad. Yes, Mel, we'll have to organise to come down. I don't know, a couple of videos ago, I can't remember which one it is, Mel, but we showed our final house extension plan, so... That'll all get going shortly, which is good. The, st uh, the stream before. So, actually, it's not that cold tonight. You can see I don't have my hood on. That's about 16. Or my minutes. gloves. I'm not freezing. But just needs a breath of wind and it'll be cool again. We spend a lot yeah. of time outside. We really I, do. I eat pies the same. Like I eat the inside out and then, then the outside of the pie. I do the same thing. I used to do that with sausage rolls, peel them and eat them sausage first, but now I eat them as is. Quick story on pies. There's not anyone really old in here, but I'm sure you'll relate to the story. Probably the late 70s, microwaves became popular, particularly in roadhouses. And I come across my first experience. Now, Mel would know what I'm talking about. It's halfway between 
Geraldton and Perth and it's called Caterby. It's a roadhouse. And in old, old days, it was just one. There's two Caterbys now, but there was one. And I rocked up and I'd done that trip you know, a thousand times. Got a pie, drive along, good. So I pick up my pie, didn't even think about it. Went in the car, had me chalk milk. Opened up your pie, took one bite, and it melted down onto my leg. I'm not kidding you, it was like lava. Microwave pies are a sin. You will go to hell if you microwave a pie. I, it just went, melted all through my hand. I opened the window and threw it. I had two degree burns on my fingers and probably three degree burns down near the old fella. I was not happy. There's only so much chalk milk can help. But microwaving food is, look, me, microwaves are great for reheating food, though I don't, I normally use a pan, but the, and you could use them to thaw, but I'd take my food out of the freezer the night before and put it in the fridge and it's thawed. But microwave, a pie, and you have an enemy for the rest of your life. Terrible, I mean, I still, I can still feel the burns now, the memories are there. Yeah. Luckily they survived, but yeah, nasty microwave food. Can't, I would never cook a meal in a microwave. Go on, move it. it. Must be an inch too close. It is. There we go. Never fails. I'm gonna make, go make another couple in a minute. Well, your show's uh, seventeen. Watching mine shows four. Who cares? Yeah, we're looking forward yeah. to getting the house that's finished, that's for sure. Yeah, we use the microwave to to warm up leftovers, maybe. That's about it. Send them a picture of those benches we got today. Can you do that on there? You can't. Uh, I can, but I have to screenshot it from the ad. Oh, okay. You, might, might you sent dinner. <coughs> I'm going to have a look, so you talk to them for a minute. We got, um, just saw them on Gumtree. They're not full park benches, like, you know, the five foot ones. These ones are only three and a bit foot long, so they're good for two bums. Oh my God, check that dinner out. And we had a chicken Looks yum, roll. yeah, <laughs> looks yum. But these are, oh, I actually have uh, what's that, Seas start. Man Bits Live to See Another Day. Yeah, I did, they did. But uh, they're um, park benches for two bums on each one. So we've got two of them. Not not super cheap, but they look really cool, so we're going to get them. Probably put them around the back patio area when the house is finished, something like that. We we'll use them now, of course, but really cute. So the missus is sending Mel a picture of them, so I think. Not right now, I'm not. Or soon. Hello, Scarlett. Oh, my God, the kids are doing face swap. Are they? Yeah. Oh, good. We've got four back. Oh, God. <laughs> We got four of our kids in Bali at the moment. <coughs> and they're doing this face swap thing on Snapchat. Very funny. Yeah, I'm gonna show them. This is my son in law. That's my son in law with Snapchat face swap. He's a beauty, isn't he? He's a ripper. It's funny that Snapchat. Yeah, so we picked up those two little benches today. Looking forward to he's dropping them off tomorrow. Yeah, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Don't think I won't be taking a piss of Ed when he gets home. You know, I'll take, take you back secretly and point the camera over there. Thanks. I'm answering the kids. I don't want to be ready to talk. I'm answering the kids. All right, you can watch you answer the kids. Cracker barrel cheese. It's a, did you make use uh, the cheese to make the star mel? Hmm? To make the what? To make the star. Make a star. Like cut a star. Yeah, there. It's probably just use the knife, I imagine. Hey, Jay girl. Hey, Scarlett, I missed you. 
Yes, I have my mum concentration face on. That's right. I'm answering my children. Now, for those of you who just come into the room, watch. please watch the beginning of the stream because we did an amazing food review on the most disgusting chips I've ever had. They were awful. They, they were horrible. I didn't even eat them. I could smell them. <coughs> now, she used a cookie cutter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, Mel will be one of them girls, I, I guess, that could know how to cut a tomato in a special way. You get the tomato, just like that, and you get a very sharp knife, and you cut in a, a bit of an angle, and then go around the tomato like that. All right, so you're cutting on an opposite angle. And when you get to it, you just twist it, open it up. It's got these little ridges. Very fancy, but it's not, it's not complicated, is it, Mel? It certainly remove, makes a salad look pretty flash. To remove wallpaper, it's slightly heated up, Scarlet. To remove wallpaper off a wall. Any tips, she asked. Ah, oh, but there are, yeah, blowtorch, if it's brick, because it's a pain in the ass. Um, move house. <laughs> yeah, just burn it, claim the insurance, fuck it. Wallpaper is so 1980s. It's about when it kicked in big way in Australia, 1980s. Generally to cover over the lime covered uh, kitchen tops and the yellow tiles. Orange, lime green and yellow was the 1970s colours and it was bloody awful. Nothing psychedelic about that. Mmm, belt sander. One of the, one of, a mate of mine did show me how to get wallpaper off a little bit easier. You just get, um, like your roller, you know you paint with a roller. You get, uh, if you happen to have this tool, if not, you get a big fork out of the kitchen and you run lines into the wallpaper first. All right, run lines in the wallpaper, like scratching like a cat. And then you get hot water and put it into the tub that you'd normally put paint and get the roller and go up and down. Do that for about an hour, up and down, come back and then do it again. And eventually it starts sliding off and you can scrape it off with a scraper. That's hey, one way that does work. Yeah, it's 16 here. Oh no, it's down to 14 here too. Amazing, isn't it? From one side of the country to the other. Well, this is an old house and we're, we're saving it. We could, we could have easily just got the bulldozers in, but we've, but we've got done no, renovations. We've got no wallpaper. You won't even see the renovations on that, but they're done. Yeah, there's the tool you can get for scoring uh, wallpaper and you can get hot water on it by going up and down with a paint brush, you know, the roller. That just soaks it in. You can use, what's another, vinegar will actually help in the water. Smell like fish and chips when you're done, but. Yes, love old houses, that's why we bought this one. But we, did, we don't have wallpaper, thank goodness. But my mum used to be big on wallpaper. Dad would just, just wallpaper over the wallpaper, over the wallpaper, over the wallpaper. I mean, like I say, wallpaper started off in Australia. This, I remember, you remember you have a little, Half, halfway up the wall, people would stick a little timber strip in, little one, just, just a bead, and then they'd wallpaper halfway up. Looked terrible. People did it in their thousands. Oh, that's a good idea, we'll do that. Terrible. I'm just gonna make a coffee. Cafe. Anyone wants a coffee? Just, uh, <coughs> just put your orders in there. And tass cafe. <coughs> I know. Spay. Dry, Wolf. beer. <coughs> Yeah, we're having coffee and someone's having uh, wild turkey. Hey, keep, hey, keeping. That's an idea. Just get heavy drapes. That'll fix the wallpaper. Now, I sort of can't remember who's actually a mm. know. Two milk, one sweetener. Two, okay. For Leroy. Don't talk to me like Ooh. that, keeping. No, he's talking to me. Shut oh, up. all right then. That was, that was me, wasn't it, keeping? So, I, yes, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, this is milk Milkway. Uh, we're having carpet and the two big bedrooms we're adding on. I'm putting Jarrah hard flooring all through the whole house, including the office. I wanted to do all of them because I said the missus you can get carpet and put but no. So we've got all this beautiful Jarrah and then we've got two bedrooms of carpet. I'd rather be all hard floor, but no, I, like, I didn't win. I like carpet in the bedrooms. Anyway, 
That's how it is. But oh, um, I'm keeping with talking to you. Well, there you go. <laughs> Hello, darling. But yeah, I love hardwood floors. Really do. I love Jarra. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Scully. You can throw rugs on there, but this one said, I want carpet in the bedrooms. Okay. So you, you can't put hardwood floor down after you. Because what you do, you do a different level. For those that know what I'm talking about, when you lay a hardwood floor, because it's going to be about two and a half inches thick, really heavy old Jarra boards going in. So you've got to drop the floor down. All right, and then if you're not going to do the bedrooms, you've got to make them at a level when you do put the carpet and they match the height of the timber. So it's all a pain in the ass. It's a big construct change in the design. In other words, you've got to scrape a little bit of the concrete out of the bedrooms. Before, do you believe in spirits and orbs? I believe there's definitely things we don't understand, Dream. Definitely. Uh, are they orbs? Are they spirits? Well... I've seen some stuff in my life I cannot explain and I'm happy to let it go. It doesn't haunt me. I think we, uh, and I've used this before, and it may make some sense to some people, I believe we are part of time slides. What I mean by that, you know how a movie runs and then if you stopped it you could go back in each section, you could see a particular scene or even a bit of movement, whatever. I believe from the beginning of time to the end of it, it's just one huge timeline. And every now and then, if something was significant in your family or in your history, you might actually see a time slide from a few hundred years ago. You say, saw a lady in a white dress coming down the stairs. Well, she might have actually done that in reality in a time slide two or three hundred years ago. So is that a ghost? Not really, if you take my uh, perspective on what things like that are, they, they appear. I'll give you a good example. There are stories all over the world of very similar events occurring that many people see. You know, a lady on a white horse crossing the road as I was driving. And there'll be 150 stories about a lady riding a horse crossing the highway. And sure as eggs, when they check out the history, there was a lady and several people that used to ride horses across that area 500 years ago. So that's where my theory of a time of a time slide comes in. It's like, well, that explains it. It happened. It's real in its time zone. We just happen to see it now, maybe because it's significant. Don't know. But never hear anyone talk about it like this, so maybe I'm just crazy. But for me, it makes a lot deal of sense in our own lives. Like I've got 60 years of time slides got run over by a car, nearly got killed here, blah, 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 in uniform for seven years, blah, blah, blah. I've done it all. In other words, it's part of my timeline. Maybe someone will see part of my timeline in the future. I don't know. I mean, uh, there's several things. I mean, as sad as it was, in prison people do commit suicide. That's what happens. And the people that pull them down are usually officers. So that time slide in my timeline exists. I wonder if a hundred years from now in that particular cell, someone sees a couple of officers pulling down a dead body. You never know. Carpet burns are not funny after a three hour bonking. Oh well, if you like anal sex that much, it doesn't matter. I'm just kidding. Three hours? Yeah, I could tell you stories, but I won't. I'd only get in trouble. Oh, go on, do tell. No. See, I'm already in they, trouble. They don't involve me, so tell. <laughs> How do you know they don't involve you? Well, well, I well, can't remember. Okay. Sleep bonking. Here she is. Still making the cover. <coughs> Can I enough back for you? No. A bit further? Yeah. A bit More. further. She's very pedantic. <laughs> ACD. Oh, I could start to start to feel the coolness coming now. There's a hint. Is that like the goodness or the badness? Yes.
Yes, I can feel the coolness coming now. Jag girl on the coast. Tra la 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 la. There's a jag girl on the coast. Tra la 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 la. You can make songs up about everyone, can you really? It should have scars on his knees from that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why in New Zealand there's lots of sheep with knee pads. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, uh, Kiwi and me always go back and forth. It don't matter. <laughs> now, I read it. I didn't see it because it didn't. I couldn't be seen in my state. But we've had meteors flying past South Australia and Victoria. Any of you read up on that? <coughs> that seems fair enough, Kiwi. But yeah, these meteors, very spectacular in Australia, over South Australia and uh, Victoria. When was this? Yesterday, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Wear knee pads, wooden splinters, oh dear. But yeah, no, so did anyone read about that or see it? Did you see these meteors coming down? There's a couple of spectacular videos on them. Hello, Black Cat. Hey, Black Cat. I missed half of that, but good day to you, Black Cat. 1999. I've seen one. I was up in Exmouth once, and it was just like Star Wars with these little bigger ones, smaller ones. But no, apparently they, they were just. Two over two different nights, I think. Now, Black so. Cat, it just takes me all day to clean. I'll start and then I'll stop and then I'll start and then, yeah. Eat chocolate, stop. <laughs> Eat chips, stop. Eat more chips, keep going, stop. I've seen two meteors in my life. Well, I have been around to see Halley's Comet. Man, you didn't tell me you were that old. I'm just kidding. I think it's every... I could be wrong, 70. but I think it's... Every 83 years, I think. Oh, I thought it was every 70 years. Yeah. I'll just go check the kettle. But it looked like about this big. You sort of squint your eyes and go, oh yeah, I can see Harley's Comet. And there's always, I don't, I don't look anymore on YouTube, but there's always some idiot. World will end on Wednesday the 25th, and this is what will happen, followed by tidal waves, and earthquakes and definitely going to happen i don't know how many videos that i've seen with people saying the world's going to end oh, oh lynn you have to look at the start of the video it's a packet of mac and cheese chips in a bag and you just have to have a look it's awful <coughs> i let the boss explain because i never even tasted them i refused to What's that? Lynn Russell asked, what was the mac and cheese about? Oh, there was a chip I tried. I can get the packet out of the bin to show mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Don't ever reveal the brand. Seeds had a dinosaur as a pet. Yeah, he did, because he was born in 1858. Seeds was, yeah, honestly. Now, the, you watched the beginning. I bought, uh, we were talking about mac and cheese the other night on a stream or something, and I'm not, I'll eat it, but I'm not that keen on the, like, the proper food. So I bought, found these chips, mac and cheese chips made by the company brand Fusion. I stuck my face in it to smell, thinking it would be a lovely cheese smell, and nearly choked. They were horrible. So that's what the mac and cheese was about. Terrible. I refused to <laughs> Yes, Biker's DNA is regularly scraped from him to help universities around the world. <coughs> It's like, I don't have a problem with anyone's faith, but I have a problem with the dinosaurs only being five and a half thousand years old. That's, no. And what's wrong if there was a creator that created us billions of years ago? And then we, uh, slowly but surely, moulded into what we are today. Why can't that be the story? But no, some people say, no, the Earth's only five and a half thousand years old, and the dinosaurs used to play with us. No, they didn't. There's equivocal. And caveman evidence to tell you that's not true. 
It was, wasn't caveman with leopard undies running around with the dinosaurs. That's Fred Flintstone, okay? But some of the religions stick by this to this day. They deny it. Some of them have their own science, scientists saying, no, this is what definitely happened. No. No, dinosaurs definitely existed. Put your hand up if you think dinosaurs existed. Right? Put your hand up if you think they're only around for five and a half thousand years. I'm watching. No, no one, that's all right. Yeah, no, it's not possible. In fact, we were fortunate enough to go to the British Museum and uh, you've read about it and you've seen documentaries about it, but we actually saw the physical evidence of the bog men, okay? Bog men from seven and eight thousand years ago, 10,000 years ago. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Um, there's no evidence about what's being sprayed into the skies. Do I think there's sort of geoengineering occurring? Absolutely. I think that's a definite. But if you think about it, if people think that we're being sprayed with chemicals to kill us, there's a lot faster ways to do it. Think about it. A lot faster way to get rid of humans than spraying particles into the atmosphere and letting people die over a thousand years. No. Oh, my battery's just about finished. I'll go get it. Mayday, mayday, battery's running dry. Just my opinion, I'm a very logical person. If the people that own the planet, and they're real, those people that own the planet are real. They are. Uh, it's to their advantage to remain kings by having lots of us as slaves. You've read, obviously, things about the Georgia Stones. Okay, about 500,000 people. It doesn't work out that way. There were probably about 500,000 really rich people. That's about it. I mean, we're talking mega rich people. So if, say, only that 500,000 mega rich people survive, Who's going to do the cooking and cleaning and washing? Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. We certainly, uh, we certainly are the demise of the planet. Sorry for shaking you around there. I'm trying to plug his phone in. I just couldn't, couldn't hear the thing. I don't know if it's working. If I go black, it's because the battery's not in. Properly. Can you check? I better check. She won't rest up until I check. Danger, Will Robertson, plug that charger in. I'm just going to have to have a quick look, so you're probably going to see me disappear. It says 9%. Wait a sec. Please. It's time. You voted. Just to explain that we're trying to get back. Am I back? I think I'm back now, I'm not sure. But if you think about... Uh, and we can use the word all these conspiracies. Is there is there smoke without uh, fire without smoke? No, there's always a bit of smoke when there is a bit of fire. So there's probably half truths. One thing's definite: the rich people that own the planet want to be on top. They don't want to change that scenario. Now, how much money do you need to be unfathomably rich? Well, not much. If I gave one of you hundred million. Probably never have to work again. You'd probably be very comfortable in dozens of homes and vehicles. So 100 million would do you. Well, if you really want to know what the top 500,000 people on the planet have got, it'll be mind-boggling. Every one of those 500,000 are billionaires. Half a million people out of seven and a half billion, so only half a million, are well and truly into the double-digit billionaires. So the Georgia Stones don't really hold true for that because if you only have 500,000, it'll be the rich buggers and there's no one to do the dishes or cook, if you get my drift. <coughs> and Lynn's hit it on the head. It's got nothing to do with money. It never has. When you're that wealthy, it's, it's not relevant. It's holding on to power. It's manipulating governments that control people. Well, if you don't want a biker, I wouldn't send it to you. 100 million. It's a lot of money, 100 million, trust me. I'll have a cricket. But the truth is, um, you know, what do we want out of life? And is it the meaning of life? You want to be loved. You want to love. You want to, hopefully, not, not everyone can reproduce children to keep a genetic strain of what you think is a dynasty. Everyone does that. 
Um, but we don't always get that opportunity through uh, medical reasons or whatever. Or some people die too young and they can't reproduce, dead. But we, we, if you really weigh it up, and I'll be honest with you, it's usually the most simple things in life that we value. It, it really is the most simplistic of things. It's like your grandchild smiling at you and saying, give me a hug. I mean, how much money do you put on that? You can't. I'm just having fun. Or it's having fun or eating something you like or going somewhere you want to go. You know, if, and this, this test has been done on people uh, and I was part of the test and I was quite surprised in the results. And that is you were given uh, a scenario which I just about gave you. You were given $100 million. And this was done in the 80s, so it was a lot of money then. And you now can do whatever you like with the time you have left in your life. You can go anywhere you like. And you know most people answered, um, I'd probably just look after the family, stay around home, do a little bit of travelling. It's not money that we seek in life. It's good to have. My grandfather used to say, having money is a better form of poverty. And it is. But it's really more to the point, what do you do with your life? What are the values that you have? What do you get out of life? What do you give uh, to life? It is, for me, it's quite simple. It's family. It's doing some things I'd like to do. Uh, I get a lot of pleasure in what makes my wife happy. Like we go places that she'd like to go and we enjoy that. So we share the experience. I remember we were on that tour and there was a, a and I'm not, there's nothing to do with the faith, but there was a Jewish guy there who wasn't Jewish, as in the faith. He oh, was an um, agnostic. That, that he was born in Israel and he's an agnostic. Okay, that's fine. Supposedly single, married five times, getting the sick wife, was, that guy. Yeah, he, oh. was, he was the miserable <laughs> side, just always whinging. He was the one who made the bus late. That we, that yeah, just, just always not happy. And obviously he had money, there's no question about it, but money can't buy you love, love. See you, Danny. But I... I think it's true. If you if you weigh up the things that have been important in your life, <coughs> very few of them have got to do with money. Very few of them. Maybe a holiday or maybe a car, but most of the time it's experiences with other people, family. That That is true, I think, really, for everybody. But Lynn's right in one aspect. The people that have ruled the planet for so long and their kids come along and then their kids come along, they still want to be the top dog. They manipulate others. There's no question about that. Some of the decisions governments make don't make any sense at all, but there's well and truly a government behind every government. In other words, the hidden government, the people, power movers. But all you can do is get on with the best of your life, things you can do, what you're in control of. You can't change the fact that 500,000 people on this planet are multi-billionaires and they own the planet. Yep, I'm with you there, Bucky. That would be an awesome day out. A kid, kids in the canoe and up the river and probably have a barbie. And You know, if I said to you, what are your memories? Good memories, because everyone has bad memories as a child, but good memories. It'll be like, oh, we went to the beach and had an ice cream. And Is there a footy did... team playing tonight? A what? Is there footy on tonight? No, that was probably just an apparition. <laughs> the ghost. <sighs> yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's not, I mean, I've been, I've, I've been in stages of my life when I've had nothing at all. And then I appreciate what I have. Um, but it's not, it's not like every one of you, if you've ever walked past a homeless guy on the side of the road recently, and if you ever sat down and chat with him, he'd probably say, yep, I had two houses, a wife, and got stuck into the drugs, and the kids don't see me. Otherwise, he was just like you and me. And something in life changed, and something changed him, and everything that he had is gone. Is that an unusual story? No. Every one of us are vulnerable to that story. It doesn't have to be drugs, it could be other circumstances, but it's true. <coughs> Hello, VMAC. Hey, what did you say? Uh, yeah, Roger, 10 4. VMAC's on the border of Canada and the United States as we speak. Agent Orange. Uh, Agent. Agent Fang. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That's horrible. You want to come into Canada? 
I don't, uh, I don't know what's happening there, but my goodness. What a kerfuffle over nothing. But if you want to see the most disgusting packet of chips that you've ever seen, and you haven't seen it because you came in late, when this video is uploaded, just look at the first five minutes, and it's on there. These stinking chips. What's Boris following him around, VMAC? Well, I don't know. Boris is probably just playing games. <coughs> I don't think it takes you to be 50. I think it takes a lot more to just uh, accept it. Because if I, if, if I knew that there was something that I could do to change how this planet is controlled, I would have already done it. And probably several of you would have done it by now. But when you have an entrenched system of control and power, there lies the problem. There are safeguards for these people that own the planet, even if we wiped out half of them in a civil war. The other half would have implementation of plans to take it all back again. And do you know, and this is a fact, it's true, Leroy is a very intelligent man and he'll know where I'm going with this. If we wiped out 90% of the planet and all, hello RC Billy, and all the people are gone except 500,000, just as a figure, and all the corrupt politicians and evil people have been destroyed and only the good 500,000 people survive, really good people, within one year there'd be 10,000 corrupt bastards who used to be good manipulate the system for their own benefit. That's what happens. So hey. we're, we're stuck with this, and it's called human frailty. Greed, power, when somebody's never had any of the wealth or the power before, they grasp it, and like the bastards we got rid of, they've become the people they hated. Now, bully, behave. I've only, like, I timed you out the other night. A pink tutu no, having a and joke. a white carnation. And it's Hello, RC. Fine, but no nasty words. Ten percent battery remaining. Something's going on here. I don't know what's going on. I'm probably going to be off the air shortly because something's playing up. Because you let your battery go too low before you plugged it in. Okay. But it's been a good hangout, we've had fun, and if you do want to see the stinking chippies during the first five minutes of this video, and I haven't seen him, but I, if you get to look at this Tucker, we're thinking of you, and we hope all goes well, that's for sure. Oh, what did Kiwi say? RSC Bully has always been Elbow's lady boy. Wow. Well, well, it was on 9% sure. and it's gone to 10, so it is charging. Uh, okay. Is that what you're saying? It's giving me the message that it's charging. Oh, you mean this has the charger? No, I'm talking about your phone. Border Patrol Canada. I just see Vinny flying over the top in a chopper. That's him, the fat fucker down there. Be interesting. I think lots of people have been playing games with the border, calling them, etc. Well, you get what you give in this world. And if some people can only extract a little bit of annoyance and vengeance of giving them a pain in the ass at the border, they will do it. I have I'm no question. Still waiting for RC Bully to go live and his video of his house. Well, yeah, and his Bully, car. the wife's waiting for the house video, the car video, you and asked. I'm waiting for the chili video that you said you made. Yep, you asked to go look in our house, whatever. You're checking if we were clean or not. I took you around. I'll put you under the missus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, well, we'll see, RC Bully, because I've been pretty nice to you. Has he done the videos? He says, he reckons he will. So oh, it's we'll a later see. on thing. It's a, mm. it's a presumption that he may do them. Yeah. Could be. Maybe. So um, we'll see. I'll be waiting. Niagara Falls or Windsor? Or the border? I don't, um, oh. 
Squishy. So it's going a bit fast for me. So is there more than one border to cross into Canada, is there? Yeah, of course there is. Like, well, I know there's a big stretch. I know people can cross cross country or whatever or illegally, and I, I know all that, but I mean like your major. Oh, yeah, I suppose there is. Oh, hey, Vinny. Oh, Vinny, watch the beginning of this stream when we put it up later. I did a food review on mac and cheese chips, and they were disgusting. Don't ever buy them, mate. <laughs> don't even look. Go, don't go See down you, that aisle. They stunk. I've refused to eat them. Oh, I had to try them, Vinny, because I, I... Don't eat them. I like the, the branded infusion, that branded chips, because they do a nice so veggie one that's all veggie coloured. Veggie chips, prawn crackers, and these you, things. She the, opened them and she went, mmm, big sniff, and she nearly fell over. And, and I wasn't going to eat them. Yeah, all borders are open 24-7. Uh, that's why they call a border. Uh, I said, Bully, I wouldn't waste my money. On what? And well, I said, Bully said, don't call the, the the police on Elvis. It's a waste of time. And people will do what they want to do. I don't really care. You know, I've tried the Maltese of chocolate bars. They're dangerous. For me, I saw a little bit of that this afternoon. And he looks like a 12-year-old boy, scared to go anywhere and do anything. And it's terrible. He, he definitely has a, a functioning problem. There's no question about that. And I think there's a nefarious means why Norm's getting him to go to Canada. Why aren't you warning him, Bully? Oh, a whole why aren't you showing right. caution? Or you want him to fall into a trap? I just, uh, yeah, Benny. Uh, Could well be. Cadbury have brought out a heap of different new chocolates, chocolate flavoured jacks. Ch uh, no, you can't say that, Bully. You can't say it's not true. Unless you have the facts to prove otherwise, I think there's a nefarious reason why Norm is making his monkey organ grind to Canada. Bully, I could send you a generator from Back Quebec, up. from Quebec, Back up from camera to you, no, go on. for about a hundred bucks, oh, less yeah. than fuel. Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I think Bully's got hair under his arm, just like that. Oh, yeah, and all the different chips. I know, because I love my chips. I, I showed all the chips I had in my cupboard at the beginning of the stream, Benny. I love chips. Uh, like I say, there's more than things meet the eye, Bully. I'll give you one question that I bet you can't answer, and I'm sure I'm right. Has this Norm character given his address to the man in the van? Because I would say the answer is no. You seen who last night, Bully? Seen you. Were you in my backyard? Get out of there, bully! I was talking about um, twisties, though, Vinny. You know when you eat twisties and after a while your gums get full of this, like, gunk? Oh, yum. And, yeah, you can only eat so many twisties. You want to see my chip cupboard, Vinny? Elvis said he lost Norm's dress. Ah, oh, of course, yeah. No, I've, I've, I've played out the scenario which I think is occurring, in my own mind, and I don't think Norm's going to meet him at his house at all. There's something underfoot here. Yeah, well, uh, I've, got, I've got to admit, and anyone who doesn't admit it, we all are going to watch to see as he gets closer. We can't help it. Well, we don't I'll always because we're asleep most of the time. <laughs> I mean, I won't always believe what he... Uh, oh, Twisty Sandwich, yeah. I don't always believe what um Yeah, what Jag, it's... Says. I mean, if I come to your place for a barbecue, Jag, and you come to mine, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see mac and cheese. And I don't think Americans have uh, a propensity to have it every week, like Wednesday's mac and cheese night. Uh, Bully says, Norm F is a great man. Have you got any facts to back that up, Bully? Well, we've got no facts that he isn't. I wonder if Bully... We don't know if he isn't. Uh, let's just play the same game Bully's playing. Now, Bully, when... Uh, Mike the Millionaire was giving your friend loads of money. I remember you saying, Mike the Millionaire is a great man. You don't remember that, Bully? No? Your memory's not that far back? Because you did. Yeah, mac and, mac and cheese. You mac definitely and did. 
When we go to America, I will try an American mac and cheese. Uh, you do it with I five, won't, not after that smell. Uh, they do it with five cheese. Yeah, but they didn't even smell like cheese. The French chips. Bridge in Windsor, Detroit. I'll, oh, look. did he? Vinny, whoa. Look, Vinny, I just think there's something nefarious going on. Oh. Definitely. Just by mannerisms and way... Because people talk and think the same way they write. Right. That's why Bully is quite insecure as a person. He's, I, I think Bully's probably a nice enough person, don't get me wrong, but he lashes out for different reasons in his own life at other people for no reason. But there are some people a lot worse than Bully who actually have uh, a process in place to make people's lives a misery. And I'm pretty sure I named Norm F about four months ago The Undertaker for a very good reason. Yeah, well, Vinny, I've said from the beginning something isn't right with the whole story. So I don't wish ill or, you know, anything bad to happen to anyone, but... No, I don't want something terrible to happen to, be, to the yeah. man in the van. I just want him to grow up and uh, get a job something's, and try and be part of society. Something's not right. It's just creepy. No, there's something afoot. If you've seen the manipulation, if you can look at a bigger picture... And, you know, well, this is going to be funny watching him boondocking. <laughs> I've got friends that live in Toronto that don't want to live in Toronto. If you know what I mean. It's a drug capital, they tell me, of uh, Canada. But if you look at the bigger picture, Bully, I'll give you a good example. Uh, here's the bigger picture. Since Norm F has come along, you've probably seen donations from people <coughs> who have got no numbers on their account. You'd probably agree with me. But there's only a couple of them. Mainly it's just the Norm F. But all the other donations are gone. Okay? Play with my scenario, Bully. What does that mean? Well, it means Norm F has secured the one-man organ grinder position. Not another one, or another one, or another one. Because all the donations only come from people who have zero subscribers. Check it out yourself, Bully. Or just Norm? Or could that be Norm as well? Hmm. So when you get someone in a position... Hello, Husk. If you get someone in a position that you. controls you completely and can make you drive from one part of the country to another... Hey, Cathy. And you eliminate all the other donors... Yeah. What have you done? There's something weird. You have total control on his life. Total. And I'm sure he thinks three or four thousand dollars is a lot of money. It ain't. Uh, and if he's left high and dry in Canada, which is what I'm thinking, and he gets trouble in Canada, he has no health insurance. Let me ask you this question, Bully. How is his health? How is his health, Bully? And if you were travelling to Canada, Bully, would you take out um, health insurance? Like uh, like travel insurance, would you do that? I think you would. I think you're smart enough, bully, to take out a bit of travel insurance. Because if he gets sick and goes to a Canadian hospital, just like if he was in Australia, it's over a thousand dollars a day, every day, <laughs> every day. Yeah, he has to get it in the country. He has to get in the country first. I'm pretty sure Canadian border guards have known terrorists approaching their. Oh yeah. I don't know anything about that, but I, I do mean, know this is a fact. He yeah. is eating himself to death. And if someone would like to argue with me on that point, bring it on. <coughs> I oh. have to try try the cheese in the cheesels. Okay. The cheese spread in the cheesels. Because it's not, he, he will often say, I remember in the past, he said the same thing, it's the type of foods that cause him a problem. That's not true at all. It's not true. You're doing very well, Cathy. But it's not the type of foods that he <laughs> eats, it's the quantity of foods. The quantity. You say a lot of not true seeds, Bully, but you put no evidence forward, so your case is dismissed. Yeah, I like cream cheese. Mm. I do like, a friend of mine years ago made a, you know, the cob loaf and you pull out all the bread from the cob loaf and you put in chopped onion, chopped cooked bacon and you add cream cheese and whatever and you heat it up. Oh, that's a feed and a half for sure. 
Yeah, he looks he looks as old as me. But I look as old as me because I am that old. Well, you were born in 1858. But he yeah. looks well over 55. His body is falling apart. He's constantly in pain. And I did, did chuckle once when he's eaten chicken and said, I don't like this bland diet. It was chicken and vegetable. I'm thinking, that looks right to me. <laughs> <coughs> Damn cold. Yeah, it's probably true, Jack. Look, Norm. Try frying leeks with garlic and cream cheese. Yum, I love leeks, really do. I mean, obviously, Norm F is a real person, but it's the persona and all that. Well, it's, crap in, it's that goes the with it. it's the intent. Why is he doing it? Bully. Why is Norm doing it? And don't just come back. He's a really nice guy. No, I don't think he's drawing at all. I do think he is someone different, but I think he's nefarious. No, bully. no Vinny said I see bully is drawing. No, bully. No, he's not. We've known. We've, we've, known, we've known bully before. He was bully. Yeah. Bully would hate to tell you what some of his previous names were, but we've known bully for a long time. You have an apple pencil. Norm is VMAC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible. And he, seriously, I mean, if anyone's got an argument against my statement, he is eating himself to death. I'll spend all night talking to you and telling why what I said then is true. He has no understanding about portion at all. He has never felt hungry in his whole life. He just keeps eating. He has eating disorders, no question. He has... Uh, He's very insecure. He suffers depression all the time. He gets people giving him little pennies to keep him bouncing along the poverty line. And now he has one master puppet. That's why I believe it's nefarious. Oh, he has. No question about that, Norm. But for what reasons? You haven't come up other than saying, he's a really nice guy. I don't think so. All right, go on, Leroy. Answer your phone. I mean, there's, there's very little chance that IRC Bully will throw $1,000 at him and say, I support you this much, here's a 1000 No, it's not going to happen. But IRC Bully did give Tucker some money. See? Even the little guy wearing a pink tutu has a little heart. But when it comes to the fact, would IRC Bully give the boy in a van $1,000? Not on your life. Because RSC Bully is also playing a game. It's got a bit of a stick. Can tell people what to do. Mm. Uh, you don't know he's rich, Bully. You're assuming. Your, your assumption that he's rich may be false. Well, or, again, I mean, what is rich? Has, he, has he given him 50 grand? We don't know if he is or isn't. We, you don't know. And... See, the word rich, for me, is someone that's got several million dollars. That's, that's not even rich, but it's wealthy. That's someone that just gives you a few thousand dollars is not rich at all. Oh, he told, he told you. Well, if he told you, it's got to be true. Bully. Really? See, you, you fall over on logic all the time. Well, I think, there's, I think there's something wrong with what's going to happen. I don't think it's genuine. I think, in fact, I think it's the end game in respect that even on, on the good note, he gets to Canada somehow, meets Norm, has a good time, comes back, Norm will go, I'm done. That's the good outcome, okay? That's the good outcome. I think there's something wrong with what's happening. And I don't wish harm on uh, the man in the van at all. But he is so gullible, so naive, McFly charged his 20 back. Well, maybe he shouldn't have given it in the first place. But some people just don't know. There's always a sucker that comes along. Well, Bully, you can't say that. Nothing will happen. You can't say that. You're making assumptions. Let me give you an idea, Bully. If, uh, if the man in the van was your son... All right, let's test you out for a second, Bully. The man in the van is your son and he's going to Canada to meet a guy he's never met that gives him dibs and dabs of money on the internet. What would you say to your son, Bully? Think about it for a second. Would you say, oh, he's a good man, go anyway? No, you wouldn't. 
but there is no one in uh, the man in the van's life that would say anything to him because he's burnt all his bridges. I'm sure the people that are closest to him have warned him as well. But no, Bully just says he's a great man. Stand by that, Bully? Yeah, you get my picture. You wouldn't send your son. You'd be saying, do not go. But because it's a game for you and many others, and a lot of people just want to see him suffer. Can you open that, please? Water. Do you realise, in the future, this is the stuff that wars will be fought over? I hope this little video I just made there, this little 10 second section, gets remembered. Because on our planet, this is what wars will be fought over. And again, I see Bully comes in the room and well, he started talking before. Well, he doesn't really defend. How did we get on the subject of... I don't know. He's not really defending him, no, though. I'm not talking about Bully. I'm talking about the... the other... Oop, I missed that comment. I do apologise. Um, Can I just have this? By Leroy. Yeah, it just came and went on my uh, screen. Leroy says, is the man in the van going to... Claim refuge status when he hits Canada soil. Canada good luck. Soil. Good luck with that. Canada has he the same refugee status laws as we do. He it seems, ain't gonna happen. He seems to think that easy to get no. free. He has no idea. In my country, even if Leroy wanted to come live in Australia, he said, oh, "I love it here. I want to live here." And if Leroy had some money and a bit of income, and he had something to offer in the regards to getting a job here, well. I would have to sponsor him and I would have to make sure I had $500,000 over the next 10 years dedicated for Leroy's healthcare, dental work, because he won't get anything until he becomes a citizen. And even though Trudeau has got some lax laws, it's still harsh on immigration in Canada. They will help someone who's genuine refugee but I think an unemployed, boarding closet gay guy living in a van with no shitter probably is not going to be accepted on refugee status. Oh, Leroy yeah, that. we can still come for a holiday, Leroy, but we have very strict uh, immigration laws. And Canada's the same. The laws are no different. Under the Commonwealth, there are some protectorates that we have in both all the Commonwealths around the country. <clears throat> to give you an idea, in Canada, if I if I go through the border in Canada, which I will do, my name will come up. It will show my security clearance that I've had in Australia for a very long time. That'll get me in, no problem at all. However, they will still run a check through the UK, Ireland, Scotland. Any Commonwealth country around the world has a database linked. In other words, if I happen to go to Scotland and get pissed and punch the local constabulary, it's going to show up on the Canada data list. Hello, Sean. Hi, Sean. Uh, and that's how it works. That's how the Commonwealth, it's not even Interpol, it's just a Commonwealth registrar. And it helps people protect uh, having unwanted people in the country. Uh, and the funniest thing that I'll be seeing, because this is true in Australia, if I say I want to spend three months in Canada, and they'll say, well, sir, we'd like to see your bank account. And I'll hand it over, and they say, "Yep, you'll be good. You can. You've got enough money to get a hotel if you can, if your friend can't look after you." But if I've only got like four or five grand in there, they're saying, "You want to spend three months in Canada with five grand? You've got no one here you'll be staying with." And they'll be saying, "I tell you what, get back on the plane because we're not letting you in." Because that's what happens in my country. We often get people that come here with a few hundred dollars and think, "Oh, it'll be good. I can stay here for a couple of months." No. That's so changed as a bucky. Well, in Australia, they, they can actually wave you through without any, any check. Except the West Australian, South Australian border in regards to fruit. You go to jail if you import fruit from one state to another. When I mean, they took the honey oh. off us. Yeah, they, and it know, was WA honey. We, we went from New South Wales. No, he wouldn't survive. I don't think he'd be safe on any street in Canada, I'll be honest with you. I've got friends that lived in Canada and said, look, you'd be safe in some of the country towns, but you go to the big cities, you can stand out like dog balls. It's going to be very tough not to get in trouble.
Well, there's one thing that I haven't missed in all of this, and the man is in hospital and he is not well, and hopefully he gets better. But I do remember that particular person in the van bully threatened to rape that person's wife and beat the crap out of that particular person. Now, in my country, there'd be an alert. All right, it ought to be registered an alert in regards to someone's threatening to do something like that. I'm pretty sure Canada has the same alerts. All it takes is the video concerned to be presented as evidence. And if that person enters the country, he could be refused entry on the threat alone. Um, no, I didn't mean that in general, Vimak, don't get me wrong. I meant in the middle of big cities. He, in, in Australia, it's the same. He wouldn't survive in the big cities here. There are little gangs and little groups and all that in the big cities that just don't tolerate some big fat guy in a van. So we'd have to go in the outer leafy suburb somewhere and hide. Husky, whenever Seats feels like it, he does a live stream. Yeah, I don't do it all the time. We've got a little bit of time on our hand over the next couple of weeks, but then we're going to be flat out, like a lizard drinking. I have to buy chocolate tomorrow and do chocolate reviews. The okay. chat flavoured yeah. chocolate. No. No, he doesn't, he doesn't adhere himself to any particular group of people, even so-called Assyrians. I don't wish any harm on him. Look, I mean, even the money doesn't bother me. I don't care if people give him money. Well, because not, money's not the solution to his problem. It's all, it's all very obvious to me. All that money does is keep him bouncing along the bottom. But it's how he's affected other people. Like I just stated about threatening to rape someone's wife. And good luck him coming to Australia if he said that about my wife. Good luck to him. Um, he probably wouldn't have to come here because I would actually fly over and sue him and drag him through court. He wouldn't know what fucking hit him. But you wouldn't get into a country... I wouldn't get into America if I threatened to do that sort of thing and someone sent a video that I've done and saying that, uh, the Americans would say, just get back on the plane, seats. You're not coming in. Yeah, his, his uh, propensity to hate women is obvious. I mean, even he, in his eyes, a mother figure to him, and I'm not having a go at her, but is a transgender. It's not even a, a genetic female. So he doesn't like women in, at all. Oh, I still have all day Sunday free and Scarborough is only about three hour drive and I have a couple of new GoPros. Who's this? I want to try out Leroy. Scarborough? Oh, we've got Scarborough here. Obviously he's not here. We've got a Scarborough. Yeah, we've got a Scarborough beach. Big beach. Actually, oh, my whole country is a beach. It's just water everywhere. We don't have any problems with illegals anymore because we just sink the boats and send them home. I'd like to try uh, using a drone one day. <coughs> yeah, it's not that hard Buy to do. Buy a cheap one because knowing me, I'll crash it. Toronto. <laughs> yeah, we've got a Scarborough Beach. I know it's very expensive to live in Toronto, even in the outer suburbs. We had a friend that was paying, it was ridiculous, it was not anywhere near the middle of Toronto and he was paying 500 a week for a three bedroom house. I didn't see what VMAC wrote. Uh, Elvis thinks Norm is bringing him to NS for lobster. We rely heavily on tourism and boondockers are chased away, told to go to the campgrounds. Yeah, yeah. they do that in Australia actually, you're not allowed to just camp no. on the side or park on the side. Side of the road, you can do it if you're 30 kilometres away from a town. From a town, yeah. If you're closer, they will actually say you have to either drive further away or drive into the campsite. Yeah. And they police it. And they have special areas, rest areas and yeah, yeah. campgrounds we, that are free as well as ones that cost you. In our state, you'll drive and get tired and pull over and you'll find a little campsite with a nice big canopy, rainwater tank, and there'll be firewood to get a fire going this time of year. So they make it easy, saying, well, yeah, you're too tired to drive, don't be silly, pull over, cook yourself a feed and have a bit of a sleep. Some of the rest But areas. you can't do it 30 k's close to town because they'll move you on and get you, if you don't go to a campsite in town, they find you again, you get fined. Some of the rest areas have toilets, showers yeah, here. Yeah, toilets and showers. We have uh, a really good forest system all around Australia and you get a, uh, an annual pass, it's only about 150, 
showers, toilets, you can camp two weeks at a time, anywhere you like. But he's not the be all and end all of what YouTube all is about. He's a sad sack. He's uh, got a very bleak future, and people are only really watching for the crash. Which, if you think about it, it's pretty sad. But it will happen, there's no question. And this could be the very crash that people have been waiting for. There's something not right in Rio. But I think we're just about done. Do you want to say any more to people? Ask them questions, give them a quiz. Here's the quiz with Mystic Angel. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 like all you can see is this on me. Well, fix it. <laughs> Give him a quiz. Go on. I uh, I don't know anything. Think of an answer that you know and then ask a question. No? Your audience is um, here. I was reading what Jagal said. I have to sit up straight. I don't know any quizzes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, where's this? Alright, I'll do one for Leroy because he likes to stay. <laughs> Leroy has a quiz question for you. You know the saying, crossing the Rubicon. How did that come about? And I'm sure people understand what that is, crossing the Rubicon. But where did it initiate from? Do you, do you know? That's the question. Tough question. But where did crossing the Rubicon originate from? Bucky's the one who likes quizzes. No, it's not a country. <coughs> it's a person hey, JP. who crossed the Rubicon. It was. Later on, I'll give it to you. It was Julius Caesar crossing the River Rubicon, which actually separated Italy yeah. from other countries at the time. G'day, JP. And what he did was he crossed his army across the Rubicon. So when he crossed the Rubicon, it was no going back, and that's what crossing the Rubicon means. So, very interesting, the Romans. I mean, Julius Caesar was really just a general who ended up taking over Rome for its betterment, and then they stabbed the bugger to death. It's quite funny, because Julius Caesar wasn't an emperor. He was head consul. He'd made himself a dictator, if you like. But what happened after they stabbed him, the Senate thought they'd go back to being a republic, the absolute opposite followed. The country erupted in anger and they ended up with the new empire system. In other words, a new Caesar every time. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't be a question, Kiwi, at all. Even the smallest Murray would just uh, beat the crap out of him. He'd hacker him to death, literally. Anyway, people, it's been good. Good to catch up with you again. If any of you happen to see Tucker, give him a my and my wife's uh, regards and hope he has uh, a good day today because every day is going to be a challenge uh, for the rest of you. I'm sure, Vinnie, Vinnie, have you got your room Do you know open? in Australia, not just with foot, elbow behind a wheel of a car in Australia? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't pass. There's no way. He is morbidly obese. And even if he rocked up to you, Vinny, he said, I'll work for five bucks an hour on your trucks. You know, and I know you wouldn't hire him for a very good reason. You would be culpable. Being morbidly obese does not allow you to continue. Even if you are a truck driver in this country, they can say, uh uh, until you lose 100 pound, you ain't driving, your C class is suspended. Hey. I've seen it happen, because truck drivers do get fat. Yeah, JP, well, what's the go, eh? You watch footy instead of coming in to see... Today. I better leave it on for a while, because his boyfriend's in here. His boyfriend? His, you said his boyfriend. What, is, Jay, is JP a man? <laughs> oh, he's a man. <laughs> I thought he was a girly boy. I knew there was footy on. Not tonight. Who's yeah, playing? give Tucker regards, Vinny. I've been sending him healing. Who played JP? Swans lost to the pies. Oh, that hurts. That's painful. Swan Sydney. My sympathies to you, JP. And pies are who? Who are the pies? Team Eddie Maguire. Oh my God, Collingwood. Oh dear. <sighs> Might help if you look at the screen. I can't read. Yeah, read but when you miss it, you can First go down. of all, wood blow. 
out the airbags in his sweat, uh, in his seat, yeah. <laughs> uh, just put him out, let him come to Australia, just put him out with kangaroos, hey Vinny. <laughs> I just, I just can't, can you imagine, <laughs> can you imagine in, in, Vinny? in any city in Australia, him pulling over and uh, doing what he's doing, some bloke just dragging him out and beat the shit out of him, saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> VMAX says the fake berry farmers here are way behind because of the weather. What do you mean fake berry farmers? Oh, black blackberries. I love blueberries. I've taken to having to eat frozen blueberries because we've got no fresh ones. What's what's a fake berry farmer? Sounds like a dingleberry farmer to me. Yeah, I love my blueberries. getting cold now. All right, can you say good night to your audience? I'm just waiting for They're up here, they're up here. <laughs> I'm just waiting for VMAC to answer. What, what is a fake berry farmer? I don't know. What Have we it? got lag? Dingleberry farmer? Uh, I've been picking berries, blackberries. Fake, like someone we all know. I'm having a blonde moment. I'm a bit lost. <laughs> hey, awesome. We have to stay on a bit longer now. Awesome, see. Awesome, you've got to watch the beginning of the stream. I did a food review. Naked. I did not. You did it naked. No. Okay. Of, um, they're real farmers, Mrs. C. Just <coughs> having, oh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up, Mac. Uh, awesome, I did a food review on mac and cheese flavoured chips and they were disgusting. Yes. But I will try when we come to America, America's mac and cheese because you use five cheeses. No, 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 it's only a couple of cheeses and mac and cheese. Now isn't there something about five cheeses or something in a proper mac and no. cheese? A couple of cheeses. Nah. Cream cheese and hard cheese. No, it was horrible. They were horrible. Awesome. I put them in the bin. I won't even feed them to the birds. So, yes, yeah, see? Awesome uses five cheeses. We need to have pizza flavoured chips. We have got pizza flavoured chips. I've got an idea for awesome. Hey, Vinny, we've had them here. I've got an idea for you, awesome. And I don't know how you're going to do it, but I imagine the crowds would be enormous. Is there a way that you could go to a website where they have bingo? And is there a way that your audience could go and get a ticket? And is there a way that you could call the numbers out and have bingo night? I know it's a lot of technical stuff I, know, I don't have the answers for, but imagine bingo Wednesday night on Awesome Hooker's channel. And they just go to a website, they get a card, and then you call the numbers, and then you can verify that that particular person's won whether it's prizes or whether it's just, you know, for fun. I think, I don't know, have I, I been to bingo? Yes, I think it's good fun night out. Don't oh, go often, bingo. good fun night out, bingo. Have a look into it, because I thought the best person that could probably deliver it would be you. I love bingo, I'll be um, And then if you say in a link in your, in your chat saying, just go to this website and download your card, and I imagine you only get, need to get one card for the whole evening, and then that way, you can call, be calling the numbers and you can make funny calls like the old days, Legs 11, you know, Kelly's, Kelly's Eye number one and all that sort of thing. So I just thought I'd throw the idea at you. Technically, Vinny might be able to help you with finding out how to do it, or Leroy, or someone else, because I don't know. But I thought it'd be great maybe to pop onto your channel, click a link to get a card, and then, you know, do it that way. Just a good fun, because that's what is lacking a lot. Now, I want to know, you don't have to type 69 in the side chat, just tell me yes, if Awesome Hooker ran bingo nights, would you attend and have a bit of fun? Just say yes. Yep, because you've got to remember. Or no, if you're bully. So yes, or no, if you're bully. 
Because I'd come. I'd go, I'd go and have a bit of a crack for fun. We've got to remember our Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, Australia. Awesome's going to be doing a quiz. Awesome, do you want to type in again what and when? I've got that right. Yeah, they mind. did. I remember when I was a young fellow, went to Kiwi, they looked at me like death. You won, you little shit. Strip bingo, yeah, we'll put seeds in on that Strip one. Strip bingo, all right. <laughs> I'll just, we'll do it reverse. I'll start naked and I'll work my way clothing on. But, no, I just thought it'd be a good idea. And Awesome is having a quiz. W when did you say? Uh, that's why I get Awesome to type it in the room. Yeah, put it in the in the chat when the actual... No bingos. No, it's not, VMAC. In Australia, you probably get people between the age of 25 and 80. Yep, so... Go to bingo. And it's a good fun night. The old ladies make cups of tea and sandwiches. I don't mind it. I don't go a lot. 10 p.m. Awesome's time, Saturday, which is 10 a.m. Sunday for Australia. Well, in WA it is. Is that right, Awesome? So it's 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. Awesome Hooker's having a quiz. And she's going to make them really easy questions. Because apparently I just give hard ones. Like, it's, what's one and five? Uh, hang on, awesome. What does I'll it equal? You. Mm, seven. Uh, yeah. Yep, it's one. Yep, it's nine o'clock here. It's 9 p.m. Oh, I get it now, the time difference. You're right there, Jack. <laughs> we went to the Mandra uh, Club a few times. The first time we walked in, it was like, who are these people? Have they got a pass? The strip search them. Yeah, they take ownership of their bingo. But okay. after a couple of weeks ago, we'll let you stay if you don't win. So that's easy for me to work out now when you tell me the time <coughs> in Western Australia. Because we don't do daylight savings in WA. Yeah, actually it's funny. <clears throat> I mean, please don't take this the wrong way. But there's some really big ladies at bingo. I mean, like, yeah, the Mrs. Creosote. Big ladies. And you can tell the big ladies because half time they disappear as the bell rings and there's cups of tea and sandwiches and cakes. They come back with a tray like this. I tell you what, they make good and cakes. They sit down. They, uh, they make good cakes. I can't believe how much they eat. Yeah, dab chew, dab cake, dab. Oh, miss one. Oh, I just dabbed my cake <laughs> with icing. Ah, this. Oh. And they're normally the ones that turn around when you get to know them after a while. You say, are you going good? And she say, you think I'm fat, don't you? It's just hormones. Okay. So, the 50 cupcakes and nine sandwiches you got on the table? You'll have to find bingo. Something to do with it, maybe? We'll have to stay the night down in Mandra one night again and do a go bingo. Alcohol and anything, Jag girl is fun. Dab to the left, eat with the right. <laughs> <Awesome>. <coughs> 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 Just don't get it mixed up. I used to love going to the drive-in. The double feature horror features at the drive-in. They were good fun. In the old days. And how many times would you remember that you're in the, the drive-in and always at the end of the movie said, please replace your speakers. And as that was being said, you heard this ping. Yeah, Oops. people drove off with the speakers. Forgot to wind the window down to take the speaker out. So... Awesome or Vinny G? Yeah, have back you, to boss. Have you a live chat? We'll come in and listen for a while. Because our phone charges are dying and our phones need to be put to electricity. It's getting cold, see? That's not too bad, still. There's mist, there's fog. No, oh, that's your cigarettes, mate. That's no, not. Let's make this easy. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your company this evening. If there is a live chat occurring now, it could be Vinny, it could be Awesome Hooker, put it in a text now. Put a link in there and go to their channel. Because they're good Christians. And what they like to do is spread the good word of good faith. They do expect you to actually come in there and see the priest. He'll take you in the back room. No. Not yet. I'm studying the baseball betting guide. All right. Baseball. Awesome. Are you going to have a chat? Baseball Make sure your trees are in. Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're flying at 36,000 feet. We're now entering Boyd Airport. If, if, you you've, got a, if you've got a uh, ongoing flight to hell, please let the stewardess know and we'll tell you how to get out of the plane at 5,000 feet. Leroy's going to do a panel. Everyone's Leroy's going to do a panel. Excellent. All right, in 20 minutes. Awesome. All right, if okay. Leroy doesn't do a show in 20 minutes, awesome. Awesome Hooker will be live 
And we're just waiting for the doing day, something. The JP doesn't. No, we hate daylight saving, just like you. And we, we just don't accept it. When I had my own company many years ago, and they forced us to do two years, and instead of being 8 o'clock, it was 7 o'clock in real time, I used to say to my drivers, come in at 8 o'clock. They said, but that's an hour later. I said, no, it's the same time as it would be if we didn't do daylight saving. And everybody did the same thing. Shopkeeper said, no, stuff that. So in West Australia didn't accept it, and we, we don't do it. I mean, we get, in summer, 15 hours of daylight. Not Why quite. would we want another one? We don't quite get 15. Mrs. C's needs PayPal to keep her snacks. That no, nah, she yeah, I know. Never-ending supply. Yeah, I agree, Leroy. When it's uh, when it's because I'm I'm getting a really big pantry built. Mark my words, one whole shelf will be chemicals and cheese. You missed it, awesome. Seeds showed my chip cupboard. And it's nearly empty. He showed my secret stash. Well, it's not my secret stash. And there was no chocolate in there. No, I need chocolate. Uh, you can get trapped in eating all those chippies and stuff here because you open a pack and think, oh, I didn't want them to go stale. So. My favourite barbecue as well is cheesels. I like all chips. Well, no, I must admit, my only sin. The, the that's I right, the inhumanity. My only sin is pork crackle or scratchings or pork rinds, whatever you want to call them, all crunchy, cooked up. Yum, I love that. But I like pork crackle off me pork. This one doesn't like pork crackle, so I am forced to eat about half a kilo a pork crackle on my own. I do it for the team. I'm that kind of guy. Yeah. I like uh, dill pickle chips. Yeah, we've, we've had all yeah, those flavors. I like pickles. I make heaps of pickles. Never show a girl's snack stash. <laughs> I don't care. That was quite, because then I bought the other snacks out I like. Chops. Fush. Chops. Actually, not all New Zealanders talk like that. Let's be honest, Kiwi. You actually do lay it on thick sometimes. They're like, oh, I'm going to get some fish and chops. But most need them to say fish and chips. Their uh, colloquialism, like ours, is sort of getting a bit smoothed out, Kiwi. There's not many fish and chops people around. We're looking at apparition. Is it a ghost? Yeah. There's a ghost over there. <laughs> no, it's just a hand. Boo! And that's... That's something else we'll do one night. Ah, she's got plenty of awesome. You don't need to worry about sending her nothing. <laughs> Emergency snack pack, yeah. <coughs> well, I think Awesome's about to open her chat. Normally starts off with a bit of pole dancing and sort of suggestive music. That's because JP taught her. Well, that's JP doing that live broadcast from the Gold Coast. I thought Awesome does it now too. Oh, probably in, you know, behind closed doors. <laughs> Yes, I do, Leroy. Now, that's a good idea. Don't don't give her ideas. <laughs> She'll be emailing all these I, different world companies. Send me a packet of these chicken chippies. And oh, I've, done that in the I've done that in the past. Mm. I mean, I remember once. Remember the Samboy chips? I think JP had no Samboy. Remember we bought those ones and they were really, really salty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we bought some Samboy chips and they were so salty. It was like, just couldn't eat it. And I like salt. So I rang them. They asked to have the, the packets sent back so they could test it because of the batches. And they sent me twenty or twenty-five dollar Coles voucher yeah, to buy to more sandboy chips. To buy <laughs> more chips. And then send them back because they're too salty. JP and Le Leroy are the awesome pole dancers. Yeah, I know. Seeds now needs an even bigger addition to the house. Yeah, for my snacks. I know. And then of course I've got to have my chocolate cupboard. I don't lie, I, t I tell it as it is. I love chips, that's my downfall, potato chips, hot chips. <gasps> Yum, hot chips, crinkle cut hot chips. Mm -mm -mm. I like these baked <laughs> potatoes, I do like that. Oh God. And yes, I like, uh, what's, what's the lose, VMAC? What? D-U-L-S-E. D-U-L. Dulls. Dulls. To lose. Seaweed. I've tried them. Don't like them. Don't send them. I, I, uh, Imran had some seaweed once. It was quite nice. It was like a chickeny type flavour, but it looked like seaweed. Oh, did you? I didn't have them. <coughs> Big dry packet of it. Bit like chips, but in long strips. Oh, 
of Leroy. He hates digging the nickels out of his G-strings. <laughs> Wouldn't be too many nickels in there, Leroy. <laughs> Maybe a couple of dimes. Yeah, they, they do it here too, VMAC. Of course, there's certain seaweed you can't eat. And I do, yeah, sweet potato chips, yum. I don't know if many people remember this song. It's an old song. It goes back to the 1920s in uh, America. <coughs> Once I built a railroad, I made it run. Made it race against time. Once I built a railroad, now it's done. Hey, buddy, can you spare a dime? That's how you should beg. Seriously. That's entertainment. That's content. Yes, Leroy, kelp is seaweed. I'm not buggy. I'm packing my knives. You don't need any knives to be, mate. You just got them fangs. Hello. My name's Vimo. Actually, I look like an octopus. I've never heard of those, Kiwi. Kelp, yeah. Actually, we get lots of good kelp in Western Australia, and it's very edible. Not straight out of the sea, but they do process quite a lot of it. I love pineapple, full uh, stop. I'm not so much on sweets as in... I like my chocolate, yes. But as, as far as fruit. lollies and stuff, I'll be back. As far as lollies, well, come on, be honest, seats. Spit like, it out. Like you little, like your lollies? Uh, not me hard boiled lollies. Hard boiled lollies. He likes his lollies. You know, like yeah. two drops. He's, things like that. He's got this this damn tripod phone thing set up, of course. Is JP it's there? The height for him. It's like a is JP there? I don't know, JP, are you I'm there? The Tell them to listen. Uh, JP, see, so just going to the toilet. He told you to listen. Oh my god, this chat's gone from worse to bad. Yes, JP. Yes, he is, Seeds. Right, I can go now then. Can you close the door, for God's sake? <laughs> I'll take the phone in. <laughs> just remember, just shake twice, yeah? Any more? You never take almonds in a nursing home from the oldies, because I've worked in a nursing home for many, many years. Yeah, well. <laughs> never take almonds, because they were once coated in chocolate. True story. You don't believe me? I know. Did you, did you only shake twice and did you wash your hands? He's not answering me. You can't. And did you flush? You didn't hear what I said, did you? No. Was it derogatory? No. Yeah, I'll bet. No, no, no. No, I'm not much of eating lollies. No, I like a hard boiled lolly every now and then. Not all the time. We do have chocolate. Okay, Awesome's now Live. Now. We shall all go to Mrs. Hooker's. Put the link in the description. Put the link in the description. Well, no, in the comments. And the comment <laughs> and the chat. I just followed what you said. <laughs> awesome. Put the link in, love. For JP, put the link in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for attending tonight's show. Of course, brought to you by our sponsors, the Canadian Border Patrol. No chips. Now move over to Awesome Channel, there as go. you can see right there. Make sure you're there. Make sure you enjoy yourself because there's going to be fun gardening. To, well, there'll be fun and oh, we should be there soon. Me.
So until next time, all of you, thanks for coming, but head over to Awesome Hooker's big show. I mean, we're talking unbelievable.